Uh, June, nice. Right. Nice to meet you. Thank you nice for time. coming in and meeting with us. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, and welcome to Cupid Bowl. It's almost done. It's almost yeah. the end of the show. Yeah. yeah so it was a good, good key growth for you. It, it's been, it's been really good. It's been very informative, and, and it's been great to not only hear about new things, but also to meet people with the same day-to-day -day problems and solutions yeah. that we have. So that's been really good. That's great. Well, tell me a little bit about Lecky, although probably lots of people already know. Tell me a little about Lecky. Well, yeah. in your role. Sure. I am uh, the sales and business development manager in, in Copenhagen. I, uh, in general, I have one sales team, and then I have a lot of other hats as well, okay. <laughs> covering uh, quantum mm -hmm. as one of them, uh, our workshop as another one, um, and a few other things. Okay. Um, Licky is a parts distributor, but mm -hmm. as a big part. <laughs> um, we also have a repair facility. We have um, a lot of different areas that we cover within parts distribution, but we also do modification and upgrades, we do hard to find items, we do brokering, we do repair management, we do road walls, we do ground support. So it's a little bit difficult to you know just put one hand on and say that's the direction we go in. Um, but we've grown our business from talking to the customers, seeing what is the need, and then putting our foot down there and then expanding. Fantastic. How many locations? We have currently we have locations in the headquarters in Denmark, okay. in Copenhagen. We have a facility in Singapore, we have a facility in China, we have in Dubai, in the UK, that's also where the repair shop is located, mm -hmm. and in the US in Fort Worth. How many doors? We were just about just above I think 100, 110, depending on wow. the end time. Nice. How long have you heard the I've been with the company for almost 23 years. Wow. <laughs> so you've seen all the growth? Yes, amazing. it's been fantastic. That's amazing. Fantastic. When I started, we were nine people, so wow. I've grown a little bit since then. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And how long have you been using Quantum? For, we were just talking about that for lunch, and for more years than I can even, wow. like 15, 16, no. I don't know how many years. Yeah. We started on quick quote and then wow. moved on to. We have a lot of customers that grew up on Quick Quote. Yeah. You know, and they migrated kind of all the way up. It's yeah. really, I mean, your company's always kind of, kind of come a long way, the products come a long way. Um, what initiatives do you have this year at Quantum? Any, any new ones? We are very much focusing on the whole aspect of EDI okay. and, and integration, and error exchange, error repair, mm -hmm. um, all of this automated processes in general. Yeah. Do you do a lot of business there, Yeah. Yeah. We do. And so it's just one of the things where we need to be able to meet, you know, their demands on, on how to trade with them. Sure, sure. That no, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then what do you see, you know, quantum is such a broad drive. Obviously you guys are using it in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what do you see as kind of the super high value for you guys in your business and how's it helping you grow? It, it's just the having the ability to adapt the different areas mm -hmm. and add more modules on as we grow. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we're using, I don't know how many models, but a lot of them. You might, you might, you might have more. Yeah, I, think, I, think pretty, it's, I think it's pretty, 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 yeah. pretty, pretty close. <laughs> I think it's one or two we don't have, but yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. But, it but the whole like adaptability into the different areas of, of where we're using it, and it can be utilized in so many different ways oh. that we're always, you know, oh, we could use this model for this, and we could use that for that. Where it may not be designed for it, but it's so adaptable that you know it just works out. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, the show we talked a little bit about our mobile first strategy, which yeah. is some of the new mobile products yeah. coming. Are those exciting for you? Very guys? exciting. Okay. Um, especially the whole area of improving warehouse processes and, and all of this mm -hmm. um, in terms of document imaging, mm -hmm. all of this recognition on things like in the thirties and all of that area um, because it's an area where incoming goods outgoing goods there's so many manual processes no matter how you do it if you use barcoding if you use this or that at one point or another mm -hmm. you need to connect it and you need to kind of get the information into the system yeah i mean, we, you know we want to go paperless yeah. we want to have our customers go paperless it's a difficult transition yeah. so we're kind of starting the journey, oh, we have, you know, with one of the other things 
we certainly do yeah. support you know a lot of that paperless stuff but i think with the new mobile stuff it gives everyone access to quantum that maybe not might not have had access yeah. and so you get the data inside quantum easier faster yeah. and, and produces better results on the back end what about the business intelligence stuff the analytics stuff that we, we, we talked about the show? yeah we already we already use a few of these um products in like our accounting department sure and we also have a few for the sales and purchasing team but that's definitely interesting uh, definitely interesting to have more things integrated because you just get so much more benefit out of having all the information available with the tools to support it and, and you know the teams always love to see the statistics yeah they do. They and do. It's, it's great also when you're out in front of the customer you can just pull up okay this is the information you know, yeah like. Yeah, anything else you know that you want to tell me about using Quantum or your experience with it or anything? I don't know, it, it's, it's an easy product to use, it's very user friendly. Um, like any other product, you need to do the setup correctly. Mm -hmm. That's you know one of the first steps. But I think everybody at, at Component Control is very good at helping and explaining, and they know sort of the hands on. It's not just a product where, oh, click this, do that. They kind of explain why do you do this, why do you do that. How will that do? And they're good at coming up with ideas when you run into problems. It's very aviation process oriented. Yeah, yeah. So if you're in the aviation space, um, you know, it, the processes I understand become intuitive because they're the way that you manage your yeah. business in that space. It, it, exactly, and, and that's you know that's absolutely perfect. And there's so many people in there, you know, that already has some sort of experience within the industry, so they really understand what are the problems. Yeah, well, we're talking about how many users. I mean. 1600 companies yeah. and, and you said in Denmark almost everyone's using quantum so yeah. that's so that's fantastic you know I think you know for me personally I just want to continue to innovate the product and continue to make it easier to get you know information in and get information out and that's that's kind of my objective you know for the next couple of years just to continue to work towards that well I appreciate you being a, a great customer I appreciate you coming to QQ Brew yeah. And I look forward to working with you this next year on a couple of these initiatives. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you.